What's going on everybody? Today we're going to learn how to add Steam games to Hyperspin or really to Rocket Launcher because that's where it really runs everything behind the scenes. So this is pretty easy to do. Once you have your game in your Steam library, what you want to do is you want to right click it. I'm going to use Mortal Kombat as an example here. And you want to go to manage, add desktop shortcut. After you do that, you want to come over here to the shortcut. You want to right click it, go to properties and this is what we care about here. That is the Steam ID of this game. All right, this, this last set of numbers right here. All right, I'm just gonna leave this open for now and we're gonna go and do something else before we use that bit of data right there. So I'm gonna go over to the start menu. I'm gonna start up Notepad++ and I'm gonna go to File Open and you're gonna look for the, your PC games database, okay? So for us, for any of you guys that have my systems, you can just go over here to the left you're gonna to go to games. I'm sorry, you're gonna to go to databases. Then you're gonna look for PC games and you're gonna open up pcgames.xml. Okay, so these are all the games in the PC games wheel for Hyperspin. So what you wanna do is add the new game you're trying to add, right? So for that, it's very simple. You're looking at the game tag that opens up this bit of code right here and the closing game tag. So you can see that this one doesn't have a slash in the front. That's the opening tag. And then all of this is related to that game right up to the closing game tag with a slash in front of it. So if you copy it from the opening to the closing, you should have no problems. So copy that. And now you can paste this anywhere you want as far as long as you paste it after a closing tag, like, you know, any of the closing game tags for each of the games. Um, but in any order, it doesn't really matter. You can go do it alphabetically, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put it right up here so that it's right at the top for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter after the header tag right there. And then right here in this new line, I'm going to paste what I just copied. And now all we did is we have this format right up here so we can replace everything for the new game. So as far as the name goes, you can give it any name you want. Normally you give it the name, the proper name of the game, right? So I'm just going to call it Mortal Kombat complete. So MKK and I'm just going to do space and I'm going to do test, right? Uh, so this is the actual quote unquote ROM name. So you have to make sure uh, it, it, this not, for this example, it doesn't matter because this is steam. So it works a little bit differently, but for if you were doing this with a regular non steam game, you would want this to match the name of the folder for the game, right? But for this example and for Steam games, it doesn't matter. So we just decided to call it MKK test. And then the description is what actually shows in the loading screen when you're uh, in, in, in the loading screen and in Hyperspin itself on the description. This is what shows for the actual name of the game. So this one, you can name it the full name of the game, right? So I'm going to call it Mortal Kombat and I'm just going to leave it at that for now. It's complete, but you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then you can fill this out if you want, the year, the manufacturer, all that stuff. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because again, that stuff doesn't matter. That's just eye candy basically. So once you have this entry in here, you're gonna hit the floppy icon to save. Now, if you wanted to put it somewhere else alphabetically or whatever, again, you would just go to the end of one of these closing tags right here. You would press enter and then you would paste right there. Be very careful where you place it because if you were to do it like here, for example, and press enter and paste it, it's not going to work because that's not where the tag, the ending tag for this game is. You have your opening tag right here all the way to the closing tag. So you want to put it after and see, I just put a slash in there. Don't do that. <laughs> you want to put it right there. Okay. So you would paste it there again, change it, the name and everything, save it and you'd be good to go. I'm going to undo that. And uh, if I close it and don't save anything, it's not. It's not going to do it. So if I open it back up again, databases, and I go to PC games, PC games.xml, there's the entry we made, we made before, and there's nothing funky down here. All right. So now that you have the game added to your database, you want to go over to Rocket Launcher. So we're going to start that up. I already have it open right here to save time. So in Rocket Launcher, if you go to game to the games tab up here and you run an audit, 
you can see that MKK test is right there. That's the one we just added. Now, the reason it's red is because PC games don't audit unless you create a fake text file that matches the name of the game. So I guess I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so let's go. I, I just opened up, let me just open up an Explorer Windows here. All right, Explorer window, and then we're gonna go to games over here. And then you're gonna go to PC games. And then here, see all these fake files? I said text files, but I use zip files. Um, these are just fake files that match the name of the game. So I can just copy any of these, copy paste it, and then I can just rename it. And you wanna make sure it matches that name right there that you gave it before, the, the quote unquote ROM name, right? So MKK, test, enter. That's a fake name, but now when you audit it, now it audits, okay? That's just for, you know, to have visually all green here. It doesn't matter if you create that, that file or not, all right? So now that you did that, and again, that is optional, you're gonna go over to the modules tab right here. Now for you, you might not have these entries right here, so you wanna click this little icon right here that refreshes everything and now you should have them. So click on PC launcher and then we're gonna click this icon right here, so the third one from the right. Click that, let's maximize it. I'm gonna click on name just to alphabetize everything and I'm gonna go down and find the game we just added. Now, if you see that it doesn't show up here, it's because you have to add it in. So you go to the add icon right here and there it is. And then you double click it and now it's there. Now here we can specify some things, but really for this game, for Steam games, all you need to worry about is the Steam ID. So that's what we got before through the shortcut. That's the first thing we did. So if you minimize that and you minimize this again, uh, it's not letting me minimize it because I have this open. So I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna minimize this. Here's our shortcut properties from before. We're gonna copy the Steam ID and we're gonna go back to Rocket Launcher. We're gonna click that icon again. We're gonna maximize it. We're gonna alphabetize this. And it got rid of it because we left everything blank. So we're gonna add it again. And now we're gonna right click here and we're gonna paste the Steam ID that we copied from the shortcut. And that's all you have to do here. You don't have to specify anything else. Okay, so we're gonna close this out and we're gonna minimize Rocket Launcher. Hey guys, I forgot to put a step in the initial video so I have to edit this part in, but there's one other thing we have to do that I forgot about and if you don't do this, nothing's gonna work correctly. So what you want to do is again in the Steam library, you want to right click on your game and you want to go to manage and you want to go to browse local files. Now, depending on the game, the way this opens up might be a little bit differently. For example, on Mortal Kombat, it opens up to this here and then you have to double click this folder. And then what you're looking for in here are the executable files. So here you have two of them. Now, depending on the game, you might have other ones. You have to kind of play around and see which is the correct one to use. But for this game, for example, it's gonna be mkke.exe and normally it's the exe with the simpler name. But you know, you can try one and if this doesn't work, you can try, just go and try another one. All right, so when you have this and you already know how to get the Steam ID from before, now we need to take those two pieces of information and we need to put them into a file. So we're gonna go open up Notepad++ and we're gonna to go to File, Open, and then again, if you have one of my systems over here on the left, you can just go to the rocket launcher folder. And then inside here, you want to go to the modules folder and then go to down, to, go down to PC launcher, open that up and then go down and look for steam IDs that I and I, uh, here it is. You want the one that just says steam IDs that I and I, not the example or anything else. So double click that. And now we can scroll all the way to the bottom if you like. And here, what you can do is you can copy an entry that already exists here. So here you have the Steam ID and then you have title equals and exe equals, right? So we can copy this entire entry right here and then we can paste it right underneath. And now we're just gonna replace this information. So we want the Steam ID that we got from the shortcut. So we, we go there and we get it. So highlight the Steam ID, copy. And then we go to Notepad++ and we replace the one that's there with this one. 
Notice there's a bracket in front and behind it. For title, you can give it anything you want. So the name of the game. Okay. And then for exe, we just got that right here, right? So mkke.exe, you can just type it over there or you can right click this one, rename it, and then highlight everything, including the .exe. Copy that, click over here. Make sure you don't rename that by mistake when you're doing this. So go back over here and replace this exe with the new one you just got. So now you have the Steam ID, title equals with the name, exe equals with the name of the exe, including the, the, dot, the uh, dot exe part, okay? After that, you hit the floppy icon to save it, and that's all you have to do. And that was the one step that I missed before, so you do the rest of the video with this step and everything's gonna work okay. All right, back to the video. And now we're gonna go over to this directory, okay? So you wanna go to your rocket launcher directory, for us, it's going to be D Arcade Rocket Launcher. Then you want to go your, to your Modules folder and you want to go to PC Launcher. Okay. And then in here, you want to double click on encryptpasswords.exe. You want to double click that. And right here, you want to put in your Steam username and your Steam password. Once you do that, you're going to close this out and you're done. At this point, the game is going to show up in hyperspin and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and I'm going to close out steam and I'm going to close it out completely right over here exit. So steam isn't running at all right now. And then just so you guys can see what's going on, I'm going to disable the fade screen that hides everything in the beginning so that you can see what's going on. So I'm going to go to fade and I'm going to go to false and we're going to go over to hyperspin. And this should work. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna go over here. To Windows games. And we should see the entry right in here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, Mortal Kombat complete. And we have that. That's something else. Don't mind that. So here's Mortal Kombat complete, which we just added that uh, on the left there. That's the name, the description that we gave it. So that's what shows up there. And then when you select it, there's no video or theme or anything because we didn't add any of that stuff yet. So then you just press your select or your enter key. And then you're going to see that steam should pop up there should auto sign in with the credentials that you gave it before. And there you go. Now the game should start. There it is. So you saw that took a few seconds there to get through that, but it works. Now it's gonna open up the game and you're all signed in and everything is automatic. And I'm just going to go ahead and exit. And yeah, that's it, guys. That is how you add Steam games to your Hyperspin setup. Uh, pretty straightforward. There's really nothing to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys on the next one.